Now, when you're going through your diaries and you're going through the photos, what was the best memory that you found that you had forgotten about? And what was the most painful one? Because I'm sure you guys are working on a film that is about one of the most gruesome wars that we've ever, you know, endured in America, you know, the Vietnam War. Um, so what was the most painful and what was the best memory? Uh, that's a really hard question, Bevy. Um, I, I think it was just the 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 wearing down. I mean, we, when we were in England, Chernobyl happened, and so radiation was spilling down all over the country. My son was born. My wife had an incredibly difficult pregnancy, and we almost lost the child. Uh, you know, Stanley didn't want me to go leave the set to go to uh, to, to to the hospital for his birth. That oh, that was wow. probably the most painful thing, and yeah. and uh, I, I I it, it kind of made me crazy. And I took a pocket knife out, out and I said I was going to cut my hand open, and I'd need to go to the hospital, or wow. he could let me go to the hospital. Yeah, that, that I, I got to a kind of a point of madness uh, with with him, and uh, so that it's that probably pretty pretty dark period in the in the process of making the film and then i don't know the best experience um oh god um <laughs> you know it was it was discovering that stanley kubrick wasn't the wizard of oz you know that mm-hmm. you remember when dorothy and and the scarecrow and the tin man and the cowardly lion they go to meet him and he's this all powerful oz and he's this giant projection of smoke coming out of his head and a big booming voice and it's the little dog toto jumps out of dorothy's arms and goes down and pulls the curtain back and you you realize that it's just this person pulling levers and yep. pro- and, and project, projecting himself and and amplifying his voice but it's really just a, a soft you know like a crab has a hard shell but it's soft inside and that's what i discovered about stanley was that and he just was a, a person that w- had created this this projection, this personification of who he was as a, a mean and evil person. But he was really just an artist who loved making films and, and uh, had created an environment for him to be able to be an artist. 